<clears throat> hey guys, I'm back with another video and I have had like one horrifying task after another to complete today and like had to like man up and do all these things and oh my goodness like <laughs> like so over it like totally like horrid day um, but there's nothing like a haul video to lift my spirits up. I love making haul videos so it's just it's oh my god and also I wanted to add that I don't know where you guys live but it is like uber hot like where I live it is like hot so it just makes it that much more like I'm like struggling because it's like hot um but um oh and I haven't made anything I don't have any plans to make anything I have no mojo to make anything there is no making anything in the future um at this point <laughs> so I'm just hauling right now um, just cuz that's that um, and I didn't plan to haul it just I just whatever I just think sometimes I get in a bad mood and I haul so um, clearly I had like a bad month this month because there's just hauls galore um, so it's interesting cuz um, I watch a ton of haul videos and it's just hilarity because every haul video that I watch it's like the person that makes the haul video has to make some sort of justification for the purchase so they always start the haul video with um, oh I'm using a gift card gift card or um, I'm using birthday money or they say like oh scrubby surprise me and took me to Michael's, like a Michael's rendezvous. So there's all these women saying that their husband takes them to Michael's and, oh, they cheat, they, my husband treated me to Michael's, which uh, maybe that happens, but I know at my Michael's, there's no husbands to be seen. So I don't know, <laughs> I just have never seen it. So it's just, it's just interesting, but, there's no justification for my haul. I just bought stuff. And strangely enough, my friend did give me a gift card to Michael's, but um, I only was able to get three things out of that gift card. But, um, <laughs> which is the truth, I really did have a gift card. Um, anyway, so here's my haul. Um, here it is. So, um, you people are driving me crazy with these Thickers hauls because, um, I well so I'm particular with what I like to what I buy and use and so um, all these people are buying thickers like oh my god thickers galore and I'm like I want some too so um, but I'm very particular with fonts and stuff like that so there was a Dear Lizzie font that I just totally fell in love with and you know of course I had to google all this on the internet and see what it looks like on real layouts and stuff but I am just totally in love with the um, Dear Lizzie um, Splendid Mag Magnifique um, Matte Puffy Stickers. I just, I love this font. I think it's super me and it kind of looks like my handwriting sometimes. So um, I like this font and then um, I think I got this from Create for Less. It was the only website that I could find it sold in. And of course I got it in black. And then I also got it in white, too. It's the same font. It's just in white. Um, and I really like it. I really like the way it looks on layouts and stuff like that. So I got a ton of those. And then I actually, I bought this a long time ago at Michael's in a pink and gray color. And then now they have it in black. And this is actually the Recollections brand. But I love it. They're, um, you know, the epoxy-like. And they have bling built into it. And this font is just totally me. And I love it. And I got two of them. Um, you need a coupon to buy these because they're five bucks if you don't use a coupon. Um, so that was like my foray into thickers. Um, but, and I also have an order forthcoming on, so this comes in white, black, and like a gray color. And I believe I ordered the gray color from It's Always Fabulous on Etsy. So that's the sticker thing. And then, um, so this is random. So, um. Me and my friend, um, we all went out and we went to Korean barbecue. And um, after that, we went to go get dessert. And this place is called Paris Baguette. Um, and oh, the dessert was fabulous, but 
aren't these the cutest and i only got two because i didn't it was like late at night and they actually left the store open for us um so we could get some dessert but um they have the cutest ever coffee sleeves like these are the cute they're like ribbed they're so cute like and these are coffee sleeves and it says paris baguette and it's a little I, it's just the most these are the cutest ever coffee sleeves if i'm ever in that dessert shop i get which is kind of far from my house but if like if there's if i ever get to go there again i'm gonna just get a lot more of these <laughs> coffee sleeves because they're the cutest thing ever they're so parisian anyways um so i also bought for you know i'm always a big talker about oh i'm gonna do this the seashell layout and i haven't even got it around to it um like i said <laughs> i don't even i don't even know when i'm gonna get to it but then i found these um oh what are these called starfish um so i thought these were cute i got them at michael's um for some reason i'm like really into navy not sure why um yeah so i will put these away but i thought these were just the cutest ever coffee sleeves <clears throat> and then i'm not sure what compelled me to buy these but i got these um scrubby stole one because he thought they were cute but um i think i was gonna put sand it in or something and add it to the the beach project that i don't know when that's gonna come to fruition um so what else did i get so, um, I just got some stuff from, oh, so this is what I got with the gift. My friend gave me a $25 gift card, um, and you can see me. Um, so I really like these, um, American crafts, um, binders. And so this is the D-ring one. So you can see my camera right there. Um, I like the D-ring ones, not the post style, because the D-rings is like, you know, like a three-ring binder kind of, and you can... It's easier to fit stuff if you have more, you know, dimensionalized layouts. So I like, I like this style of binder, and it's um, that's what it looks like. The interlocking D ring, I like that. And I just, I just like those um, binders in general. And um, that was from that was from Michaels today. So this is kind of a mixed haul because some of it's from Joann's and some of it's from Michaels. Um, and then I also got the Teresa Collins. This is from Joanne.com stamp storage album. Um, I didn't really need the stamp storage album part. What kind of interested me is that it was pink and it had this cute book plate. So I'm like, I have to have that. And of course, you guys know I'm in love with Teresa Collins. So <clears throat> I had to get this and I actually don't know what it looks like, but um, it's really hard to find like pink binders that are the exact shade. Um, a suit that I like and of course if this is from Teresa Collins and it would be perfect the perfect pink so that's super cute it's I believe an 8 by 8 size <clears throat> and look how cute that is so it's just um it's a stamp storage binder but I mean they look like regular um, sleeves to me I think yeah they're regular hold on Oh, okay, so I see what's going on here. Um, so basically, each there's 10 clear storage sleeves, and inside each sleeve, there is a um, like an extra clear piece that I believe you can put stamps in, um, you know, to store your acrylic stamps. But this would be a neat project just to use the acrylic pages for pages. So I'm glad I got this, and this came out cheap because, um, I don't know, it was some crazy sale day, so this was like really cheap. I should have got more than one, but this is so super cute. That was a good find. So that was from joannes.com. It might have been seven bucks. I can check. Um, I know I really liked it, so, oh, it doesn't have the price on here. But um, I know it was probably 50% off when they had that 50% off sale. Um, so I really like that. So that's cool. Um, and it's really hard for me to find a shade of pink that I really like. Um, so there you go. That's really cute. Um, and then, so I'm trying not to show you boring stuff. 
So basically, um, today, this is what I got at Michael's too. Um, again, thickers, and I really like this font. This is the Rain Boots Puffy Letter Stickers. So I like that a lot. And this is, um, again, you have to use the coupon because um, this particular set of thickers is, um, I don't know, five bucks without a coupon. Um, and then, oh, and I have a new paper pad to show you. Like, I'm anti-paper pad, but I caved in today at Michael's. Um, so, also, um, Scrappin' and Rappin' Sherry had sent me some chalk inks, and I love them. So, I wanted to get more colors. Um, thanks, Sherry, because I just, I love chalk ink. I love the way it looks. So, again, um, this was off the Joann's 50% off sale. So I treated myself to a bunch of chalk ink. This is the color box, and this is called the Primary Set. And um, strangely enough, I don't think I have any duplicate colors because the set that uh, Sherry gave me had um, <clears throat> yellow, green, and blue. But um, I checked, and these are different shades, so um, that's cool. And then this set is called. I just I just like the way chalk ink looks when it um, when you use it. So I clearly can't read. Hold on. So this is soft pastel, really cute. This actually looks better in person than on the website. This color set, and then I also got this one, which I think is nightfall or something like that. So that's cool. Um, so I think that's all the colors of chalk ink that I need. Um, I just splurged because I really like it. And um, I really don't like using distress inks to stamp. Um, it just looks splotchy and blah. I don't like it. So, um, But I do really like the chalk. But I'm finding that it's harder to uh, clean your stamps, but it's fine. It's the look that it achieves is like worth it. I'm totally rambling. I know I'm at 12 minutes. So I have one last thing to show you, um, I think. Okay, so I am anti-paper pad because as I've been making stuff through the years, I noticed that like you don't really need that much paper to make something fabulous. You don't. You don't need a lot of paper. So these paper pads are ridiculous because there's like a lot of paper. And like for me, I notice like after I make one project, like I'm over the whole collection. Like I'll make one tiny thing. And I'm done with the collection because <laughs> when I make something, I really throw myself into it. So I like stare at the paper for a while, figure out exactly what I want to do. And even after I make like some tiny card with the collection, like I feel like I've used the collection and I'm done with it and it's time to move on. <laughs> so um, that's why I don't like paper pads because they just give you a ton of paper and you know, you're never going to use it all and blah, blah, blah. But this I had to get and I broke my rule and shame on me. Um, but this was from Michaels and, um, this is the everyday moments recollections pad, which is, um, which is essentially like the Teresa Collins everyday moments collection, but in a recollections packaging. And so they also had these new pads and the other one, which I didn't get is a knockoff. Well, not a knockoff. It's like the same uh, designs, but the other one was the um, Amy Tangerine collection from American Crafts, I believe, and the other one was like My Mind's Eye, and I think that was it, but the other one was clearly a My Mind's Eye knock knockoff, and the other one was clearly an American Crafts Amy Tangerine knockoff. Um, so here, this is the Teresa Collins knockoff, but um, of course, I love, I love me my Teresa, and I actually haven't bought like paper in, like, Teresa Collins paper in a while, but, um, but, so let me try to move my camera. So, this is a cute little grid pattern. Um, I, see, I love this design, and I don't know what that's called, but, you know, I love that design. This is the design that I fell in love with, and this is, this is beautiful. It's like a light gray color polka dots, too, in the background. Um, so I loved, I loved a lot of paper from this collection. Um, and then there's the regular, you know, typical polka dot. And I love, this is probably my favorite. And again, I'm totally into the navy blue. Um, that is, um, 
love this paper. I love I love this particular sheet. Um, and then here's this one. This one that was kind of busy. It has glitter and stuff. Um, here's this one, and um, you can't really see. There's like a chair back there and some text. Um, here's this. So I need to actually take off the plastic. Oh, and I don't have my scissors, which, oh, here it is. Um, so yeah, I was surprised to see this, because this was actually new in the January CHA. Um, so that was the paper that I liked. There's that one. Here's that one with the chair. Um, and then I like this one. This one's like borders, and they're all very cute. Um, and then there's the floral. I see, I just love this design. Um, it's like really architectural. And then, see, I can't talk, it's like late at night. And they have this definitions, and actually like, it's really cute, they're all like usable. Like, it's like moment, perfect, character, story, document. Um, and then here's this, and so, um, there's this, and, this you guys know I don't like birds so um, and then that and that I like that it's kind of like a wallpaper and then that's odd like the wasps like I think it's a cool piece of paper but that's so random um, and then here's this one and then this one and then that one so this is the Recollections Everyday Moments, and I think that's all I got. Um, I might have one. Oh, okay. So, my last thing I'm going to share, because this is 17 minutes, which is ridiculous. Um, I, uh, again, obsessed with Allie Edwards stamps. I did finally break down and join the Studio AE Technique Tuesday Monthly Stamp Club. Um, but I was really hunting, hunting everywhere, and I got this from Joanne's, this stamp set, and it's saying hello, saying goodbye, the things that matter most, hello opportunity, hello challenge. I really like that. Um, one step, step at a time, moving forward, ups and downs, and life goes on. I really liked, I really like this. It's like perfect for layouts and stuff, so I can't wait to use that. And that's it. So sorry, guys. I know this video is like a million minutes long. I'm probably not going to edit it, so hopefully you made it to the end. <laughs> um, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.